Hey, dogs, come adventure. Wow. I'm out here gleaning. That's what we're doing today. We're gleaning. I've been doing some hard harvesting, I thought you knowed. North Dakota to Kansas City, way down the road. Cutting that weed and stacking that hay, and I'm trying to make about a dollar a day. And I've been doing some hard harvesting, Lord. I bet the wind on this is a fuck shit too right now. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll guard it if I get under this dug fur. You know how it's dug fur? Look at the little mice hanging off the cone. It's got their legs and their tail. That's a duck for a cone. And here's the thing, folks. Your boy wants some nut milk. Your boy doesn't want to keep paying for this fucking almond milk. So I'm out here taking the dogs for a little walk. A little bit of gleaning. Because you know what? Someone has to glean after the harvest. Someone might as well. Might as well be me. Cause I want nut milk. The secret ingredient is crime. Let's center this a little bit more. Dead center. Don't piss on that, Mishka. And you know what I'm doing? I'm not gonna take all that I find under one tree. It's just a little bit of stewardship. Just a little bit of stewardship there, you know? You don't want to, uh... oh, hello dogs. They're both so very pretty. Pit bulls are prettier than huskies, but you take what you can get. Mighty, I love you. Mighty, Mighty, I love you. Come here, baby. Look at that wolf right there. He's gonna run. Are you eating the hazelnuts? Hey, you're gonna break your damn teeth. <laughs> Miley, those are not our hazelnuts. That is illegal. You can't do that. Let's go. For real, I'm like worried for your teeth. Don't eat that. Don't eat that one. God, dude, I'm getting like... There's so many planes flying over and she's eating hazelnuts. And there's so many planes flying over. I get that it's a hobby, but I'm like, are you the fucking railroad boss, bro? Look at those clouds. Holy shit. Fly into the sunset, you beautiful, magnificent bitch. Oh yeah, folks, what I love about living on a farm is just the self-sufficiency, you know? <laughs> Yep, this is just a little vlog about being self-sufficient. That's what we call this, we call this self-sufficiency. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I was gonna tell you something. I'll tell you what, I'm an American. I was in Portland yesterday. 
Yeah, I just spent a whole shit ton of money um, getting my car in working order. They had it for 11 hours yesterday. Can you believe that shit? Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fault anyone for, for their work, and I'm grateful for it, and I'm grateful that I got a little bit of a discount, so that was nice, and I won't, I won't mention the place by name, but 11 hours, I'm like, Jesus Christ! So, what that meant was that I had some more time to myself to, uh, you know, kind of explore Portland. I went through... Pioneer Courthouse Square, and I was looking up at these tall buildings, buildings that were, honest to God, probably taller than these trees. Um, yeah, certainly. Like, my first guess was 40 stories, but then I started counting them, and I'm like, yeah, there's no way that those are 40. They're more like 20 or something. And granted, I have been in cities that were much bigger than Portland. But, the, you know, the thought occurred to me when I was in Dallas, when I was in L.A., um, all these places that I've been, even in, in Salem, Oregon. I heard something. Good golly gosh, you know what's going on here? What are y'all doing up there in them tall towers? Even though that's basically, hey, Miley, don't go in there. My dogs are about to get eaten. They're about to get fucking eaten by a bear. Miley, come here. I will not let you get eaten by a bear. Um, but it's just, it's so absurd. Like, if you're in, you know, this 20-story tall uh, chase building, right? That was one of them. And another was, was a law firm. Like, the names of this one specific company are, like, brandished at the top, right? And it's like, if you're just sweating over spreadsheets, like, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, dogs! There he is. Where's Miley? Where's Miley? There they are! Hi, doggies. Okay, I'm going back through. Um, so many fortunes are made by just the concept of money. By ju just, just this system that we've all bought into, right? I don't, we haven't even bought into it. It's just fucking there. And you just have to be a part of it unless you choose to not, unless you buy out. Like, that's it. You don't buy into the system. You have to buy out of it. Mishka, good boy. Good boy, Mishka. Where is Miley, huh? There's Miley. Hello, good boy. Hello, good boy. Oh. Miley, don't get jealous. Ah! It literally boggles the mind. These, these buildings, these institutions that aren't tied to what their production is. And, and I'm recognizing that everything is an industry. But... And, and this is a big old but. Um, <laughs> but, like, in this day and age, with computers and everything, you don't need 40 floors of filing cabinets. Is, like, is that what it is? It's filing cabinets, it's people sweating over spreadsheets, it's people making appointments for things that I can't even necessarily conceptualize. Um, it's so divorced from actual production, actual industry, um, from anything that we, that we actually eat, you know, or drink, as it were, and it's insane, it's insane, like, like, these aren't, these aren't the warehouses, and like, if you're in a warehouse, if you're in a farm, then you can... Then, then you'll know, that, like, there are offices there. There are places where files are kept. There are places where things are organized. Is it gleaning if I pull it directly off the tree? I don't know. Um. <laughs> um. But, yeah, it just, it boggles the mind. Like, what kind of a world are we living in? Like, what is fucking going on? How, how, 
do these cities sustain themselves? Like, if you want to talk about sustainability, dude, these industries exist because they kind of have to. Because we have to, you know, harvest in huge amounts, huge, huge amounts, and then truck it into the city where millions upon millions of people are gathered in one location doing something. Um, when, dude... Like, if we could just diversify a homestead, get everyone what they need to support themselves. And granted, we thankfully live in a time where we don't have to be peasant laborers. Because <laughs> I guess what I'm basically saying is like a return to the commons, only instead of the king or the feudal lord being in management of everything. It's the uh, the collective of the homesteaders that own the land um, and sustain each other and support one another and sustain and support themselves. Anyway, um, I don't want this to be a rant. Anyway, I've got my brick uh, <laughs> of illegal hazelnuts here. And you know, a lot of these people that work in 40-story buildings, they might look at this and be like, like you're living, you're literally gleaning hazelnuts <laughs> for sustenance, you know, to make your weird vegan milk. Um, and that's fine. Because if they're so dependent, if, 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 if you're so dependent on these structures, you're going to get left behind. We are very close to leaving the old world behind. And I'm pretty fucking stoked. to 
Hey, that's not milk. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty goddamn good milk. So that right there is gonna just about do it for any moisture. Don't throw away your nut pulp. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make some flour out of this later. What? What? We have ghosts here sometimes for dorks. What? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make some flour later. But for now, I think I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. Now this is Oregon, baby. Does anyone else just live for days like this? My car's getting clean, free of charge. Yes, folks, this is the life I say. Out here, cold and wet. <laughs> right. Sit. Let's see your paw. Other paw. Thank you. 